<laughs> if you park your car outside, police have a warning for you tonight after seeing a sudden rise once again in catalytic converter deaths. Yeah, new, new specialist Lauren Steinbrecher live in Saratoga Springs for us tonight where neighbors in the condo complex became the latest victims. Lauren? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike and Dini, even in a condo complex, the thieves were so quick in getting underneath the car, cutting out that catalytic converter, leaving cars like this hybrid sounding like a Mustang. On Monday morning, Carrie Smith couldn't tell. You can't see under there. Until she heard. It's so loud. Really? It is so loud. A noisy surprise James Lewis discovered the same morning. Oh, look, the catalytic converter has been stolen off of this vehicle. I didn't realize I was living in real life Grand Theft Auto. James's neighbors caught the catalytic converter theft culprits on camera, backing up next to his car with someone hopping out the back passenger side and using a grinder to cut out the car part. While this happened at a condo complex in Saratoga Springs, Unified Police in Mill Creek. As of last month and a half, we have had, I would say, a rash. Said they've taken nearly two dozen reports recently with video eerily similar. Again, someone hopping out of the back seat, sliding underneath and in a matter of seconds. <laughs> They've scored. You can take them to a recyclery or fence it through other means, and, and they can get upwards two, three hundred bucks, several hundred dollars. A payday for them, but for James and Carrie, inconvenient. Yeah, I understand, hey, they're valuable parts, but now I'm uh, without a vehicle and it's putting me out. And costly. It's expensive. It's really expensive. We haven't priced ours yet, but um, we've been told to expect about $1,200. Yeah, and tomorrow UPD plans to tell us all of the tips on what you can do to protect your car from having this happen. But one good tip tonight that you can do, just be vigilant. If you hear a noise of a grinder for like 30 seconds, don't assume that it's something out in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, and if you see cars driving slowly around or parking in a weird spot, might be some suspicious activity that you call police for, Mike. Yeah, it's maddening. The problem isn't going away anytime soon. We've seen it for years now. All right, Lauren, thank you.